practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little pray. I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, we on the road to 3K, baby. We trying to get to 3K by the draft. So we got a little over a month to get me another 800 subscribers. So hit that sub button, hit that bell button, hit that like button, and become a Fisk Unit Soldier. I promise you, you won't forget it. You won't regret it either. You become a Fisk Unit Soldier, you tough everywhere you go. You go to the gym, you tough. You getting cold cuts at the, the grocery store, you tough. Alright, you in front of your girl, and she cursing you out, talking about what you ain't doing, how you ain't take out the trash. She gonna shut up, cause you tough, cause you Fisk Unit approved now. You understand me? With that being said though. Let's get to this big blue thing. Um, where do I start? Do I start with the 4-2 speed? Alright. Or do I start with the fact that Joe Judge is paying him any attention? Now, alright, so look. Joe Judge, of course, is at the Alabama Purdue Pro Day. Now, Joe Judge could have been looking at a defensive end. Joe Judge could have been looking at certain he could have been looking at a lot of people but out of all the sightings we could have got joe judge at we got him looking at purdue ron receipt wide receiver rondell moore he's five foot seven with a 42 inch vert and ran a four two that's a wide receiver that's tyreek hill okay that's tyreek hill He's built stout, just like Tyreek Hill. He's not a small five foot seven. He's got a he's got a nice thick frame. He reminds me of the Wes Welkers, the Tyreek Hill. You know those short guys who are well built. He's not he's not short and skinny like Edelman. Edelman is like Edelman, mad frail. You know what I'm saying? He's not built like that. He's built real stout, like every pause, but. He every inch of his body is muscle. There's no waist. There's no flab. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like he's built to do slot work. Could you imagine running him on those deep crosses that Tyreek Hill runs in Kansas City? Because you know a lot of Tyreek damage done in the slot. They line up him in the slot and they run him on that deep cross across the middle of the field. That's how he scored that damn touchdown when he did the backflip. To the deep cross he has Tyree kill potential and the beauty of the situation is um I'm on nflnetwork.com let me read to you what it says according to nflnetwork.com it says it was kind of it was kind of a performance he needed after losing some buzz over the last couple seasons after breaking through as a freshman he played in just seven games from 2019 to 2020 an average fewer than eight yards per catch this past year jeremiah projects more as a likely third round pick with a chance to go late in the second round i like it i like that just in case we go offensive lineman in the first round and y'all gotta hear me cry and throw shit like I did last year when we took Andrew Thomas over C.D. Lamb. So it was like last year we took Andrew Thomas over C.D. Lamb. This year there's a possibility we're going to take this Slater kid over Jalen Waddle. So that's going to be two straight drafts. I'm throwing shit in, I'm throwing shit in my office. It's going to be two straight drafts. So at least I get to read articles and I get to see Joe Judge looking at wide receivers like him because it just lets me know Giants fans that he gives a damn about the wide receiver position because need I remind you last year we didn't draft one receiver and you wonder why Daniel Jones put up numbers from the 70s okay we didn't draft one receiver last year we pinned our hopes our dreams our beliefs and all of our emotional support 
behind Darius Slayton, and he scored no touchdowns after October 18th. He clocked out. He clocked out. Okay? So I'm like, yo, listen, I get the offensive line is important. I understand. It, it, it ruined Eli Man. It shortened Eli Man his career. And Daniel Jones ain't had time to breathe but so much this his first two years. And I understand it's important, Giants fans. But damn it, when Daniel Jones do got time to breathe in the pocket, somebody got to be open. So we need one more receiver. Galladay has an injury history. Don't even get me started on Sterling Shepard who ain't played 16 games and God knows when. Darius Slayton, he, he, he just not good. And with the exception of last year, Ever Ingram ain't never healthy. And our new tight end is currently having foot surgery. So one more receiver, even if, it's to, even if it's to add depth to make sure Daniel Jones is good, is something that needs to be done. And John Ross ain't never helped either. So I look at this kid, Rondell Moore. He, he, he reminds me, I don't want to say reminds me of Jalen Waddle. But he has, he's like third, he's like the third round version of Jalen Waddle. How about that? Okay, he's the Purdue third round version of Jalen Waddle. I just, I'm just happy Joe Judge is, is giving him the light of day. I, you know what I'm saying? Cause Joe Judge, could, he didn't, he doesn't have to pay this kid any attention. Joe Judge could be talking on his phone to get him in. He could be doing other things. He doesn't have to look at every single player at the freaking, you know, he doesn't have to do that. So, I'm with it. I'm with it. If, if, if they want to go Cootie Pay or they want to go Kyle Pitts or, God forbid, another offensive lineman in the first round, it's nice to know that Joe Judge is looking at wide receivers for the second, maybe third round. That's all I'm saying, Giants fans. I'm not saying that, oh, my gosh, Rondell Moore is the, the next big thing. or I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is I'm just happy that we actually have wide receivers on the board. Okay? I repeat. I'm just happy we have wide receivers on the board. That's all I'm saying. Because last year we didn't draft one receiver. So, in t the last thing I'm going to say about Rondell Moore. His freshman year at Purdue, 2018. Okay? In 2018, this dude had 114 catches for 1,258 yards and 12 touchdowns. Ooh, wait. With two rushing touchdowns and 200 rushing yards to go with him. Oh, my gosh. Now, his next two seasons, 19 and 20, he, only, he played four games in 2019. He played three games last year. Of course, that's alarming, which is why, you know, he needed this big pro. He needed this pro day. And not only did he need this pro day, but, you know, that's why he's not going in the first or maybe even the second round. This is why he's projected to go in the third round because he's played seven games in two seasons. But if he could return to 2018 form, she, those are like Michael Pittman Jr. numbers. Because I remember last year when I won a Michael Pittman Jr., I'm like, yo, dude is catching 100 balls in college. You can get 100 catches in college. Like, come on. They don't play 16 games in college. So when you're getting 100 catches in 12, 13 games in college, like, you, you, you're, you, you're a demon. I don't care what anybody says. That's why I won the Michael Pittman Jr. last year for the Giants. But whatever. Um, I ain't got nothing else to say, man. That's it. That's all. I'll have my free agency grade. I'm probably going to wait till Friday because there's, 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 there's the Trey Turner rumors. Um, I want to wait till Thursday or Friday before I do my free agency recap video because I'm not sure if we're going to, if we're done yet. But it's draft time, ladies and gentlemen. So get used to more draft content coming up. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.